On August 17, Indonesia's Independence Day, a group of Papuan students in the East Java city of Surabaya were allegedly taunted and attacked by a mob chanting racist slurs. The mob accused the students of desecrating an Indonesian flag. One year before, on December the 2nd, 2018, the Indonesian government blamed members of the military wing of Papua's separatist movement for the deaths of 19 workers on a new Trans-Papua Highway project. The roots of this latest conflict are as old as Indonesia. The inhabitants of this Indonesia declared independence from the Netherlands in 1945, but the western half of New Guinea, also a Dutch colony, was not immediately incorporated into the Republic of Indonesia. In December 1949, at the end of the Indonesian National Revolution, the Netherlands agreed to recognize Indonesian sovereignty over the territories of the former Dutch East Indies, with the exception of Western New Guinea, which the Dutch continued to hold as Netherlands New Guinea. The Dutch agreed to relinquish the territory to temporary United Nations administration, signing the New York Agreement, which included a provision that a plebiscite would be held before 1969. The Indonesian administration, supervised by the United Nations, organized the Act of Free Choice in 1969, which was supposed to allow every Papuan to vote for independence or incorporation into Indonesia. Instead, a group of 1,025 voters were handpicked by Indonesian authorities and their votes were recorded as unanimously in favor of integration. The area has been a hotbed of separatism ever since the contested vote. But despite the difficulties in the region, Indonesia's Western Papua is incredibly valuable to Indonesia, in part because of its natural resources. It's home to the Grasberg Mine, the largest gold mine and the second largest copper mine in the world. Of overall reconstruction in, this territory. in an effort to gain control of the region, the Indonesian government transmigrated tens of thousands of Javanese and Sumatran people into the region in the 1970s and 80s. That controversial practice was ended in 1990. In 2000, the province of Papua obtained what's called special autonomy status under the Abdurrahman Wahid administration. The administration restored the name Papua to the region replacing the previous name Irian Jaya. But a significant number of Papuans still support complete independence from Indonesia. By March 2019, Indonesia's national poverty rate is 9.41% of population. Papua's poverty rate is 27.53% of population. Despite its massive natural resources wealth, the Indonesian part of New Guinea, Papua and West Papua province has serious poverty issues due in part to the government's focus on Java and neglect on Western Indonesia during the 1960s. From Papua, Alam Burhanan, VOA News.